Make some noise for William Krolowitz. Yes, my name is William. I met a guy recently, I introduced myself as William, and he said, nice to meet you, Bill. I said, actually, I prefer William or Will. And he paused for a minute, he goes, well, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and call you Bill. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go ahead and call you Richard, because you're kind of being a dick. <laughs> It's William. Ladies, it's Will. Yum. <laughs> That's right, ladies, just got the new glasses. <laughs> These thick-ass lenses make my brown eyes pop. <laughs> Hashtag glaucoma. <laughs> I have glaucoma, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've been wearing glasses since I'm eight years old. When I found out I had to wear glasses, my mother got mad at me. I would get blamed for all my afflictions. See, he needs glasses. That's because you sit too close to the television. He needs braces. I told you not to chew like that. He has asthma. Oh, he's just too lazy to breathe. No, it's because you smoked all through the pregnancy. Back in those days, four to five doctors recommended smoking to expect mothers to calm their nerves. Relax, don't upset the baby. Have a glass of wine. That's what I was born with asthma and a hangover. <laughs> Welcome to the world. Oh, turn off that light. Wham, wham. So having asthma didn't help when I caught COVID back in 2020. I had the original COVID. I ended up in the hospital, man. It was bad. I was in the hospital. They had me hooked up to a lot of monitors and they came rushing in, in the middle of the night with the crash truck. They got the paddles out clear. What the hell's going on? The doctor's like, oh, we thought we were gonna lose you, man. Your oxygen levels dropped to dangerous levels. If you don't get this CPAP machine with oxygen, there's a very good chance you could have a heart attack or a stroke and die in your sleep. And I was like, oh my God, that is awesome. <laughs> Who doesn't wanna die in their sleep? How did you die? I don't know, I slept right through that shit. <laughs> First he went to bed, then he woke up dead. He went peaceful. Yeah, I'll take that. So I was out of work for a long time. I went back to work. The first day I was back at work, I'm in the restroom. Somebody was talking on their cell phone in the next stall. It's infuriating. Finally I say something, I was like, hey, if I have to sit here and listen to your dumb conversation, how in the hell am I supposed to come? almost over. I'm trying to concentrate. Will you please shut the hell up? Or say something sexy. To which they replied, will you please leave the ladies room? Come on, it's a joke. When I was in the hospital though, I found out the doctor came in and said, we noticed on the MRI that you have arthritis in your spine. Like from the COVID? No, sometimes the parents will pass the arthritis down. If either one of your parents have arthritis, I'm like, my mom has arthritis, but she has it in her hands. But she used to always hit me on my spine. <laughs> that must be how she passed it down. <laughs> and that's not how it works. That's not how it works at all. So I have uh, two grown sons, and I like it. Look, all I want, just don't grow up to be an asshole. That's all I expect. So when they were in college, they took me out for Father's Day. And we're enjoying a nice Father's Day meal. A couple comes in with a five or six year old kid. They sit down at the table next to us. Kid's just banging on the table, making a racket. The parents say nothing. Kid gets up from the table, starts running around the restaurant. The parents say nothing. And I have two sons. One of my sons looks just like his mother. My other son looks just like me. The son that looks like me said, Dad, I wanna thank you for not allowing us to behave like that when we were kids. And when I have kids, I'm not gonna let them behave like that either. I hope I can be as good a father to my kids as you were to me. I was touched. I thought I was gonna get emotional. So you know what I did? 
I reached out and I gave him a little smack in the head. I said, get your elbows off the damn table. <laughs> <laughs> and then I stuck my foot out and I tripped that little bastard as he ran by. <laughs> Because it takes a village. Yeah. <laughs> and that son that looks like me had a daughter who looks like him. My granddaughter looks just like me. She's beautiful. <laughs> My ex-wife called me up. She goes, what do you want the baby to call you? I'm like, well, the baby's just born. I haven't thought about it. Well, I'm letting you know my man is Papa. He's not her papa, he's not related. Y'all aren't even married. No, I'm telling you, he's papa. Okay, and I'm grampy, that's fine. So uh, Valentine's Day comes up and I wanna send her something. My son said, don't send him any candy. They get enough candy. And I sent her a book on how to write cursive. They're not teaching cursive in school anymore. So I sent her the book to how to write cursive. She calls me up to thank me and I said, will you be my Valentine? She's like, no. <laughs> like, why not? She said, Grampy, you didn't send me anything for Valentine's Day. Nan Nan Papa sent me a box of chocolates. I said, let me tell you something, little girl. That's not your real Papa. <laughs> That's just some dude who's shacking up with Nana. <laughs> shacking up means living in sin, and that makes Jesus cry because in the eyes of God, your Nana's a hoe. In heaven, that's called the Hosanna. <laughs> and your Nana is Hosanna in the highest. She said, what does that mean, Grampy? That means that Nana and Papa are gonna burn in hell forever and ever. Enjoy your chocolates. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you guys. That's been, that's been great, thank you. Keep it going for Will Krolowitz.